obviously the injuries and being shorthanded played a role, but what have you made of the defense the last four or five games? You all have been giving up more points than we were used to you seeing. I think the biggest thing is we've had some lapses with, with scouting and, and, uh, and being assignment sound. Um, but I think ultimately we, we've guarded at critical times well enough, and that's why we've um, been able to win three of our last four. Uh, but those are definitely things that we've addressed and that, and that we got to clean up. And um, I think more than anything, it's a, there's a tad of discipline that, that we've lacked. Um, you know, if, that, if that's meant getting over a screen a certain way to avoid giving up a shot to – um, a capable shot maker or um, rotating a certain way on, on defense. There's just been a, a few lapses each game where I think you take away four or five baskets, which could be eight, 12, 10 points. I think we'd be having a different conversation now, but th they're definitely correctable things. And I think we've, we've showed all year that we've been pretty good on defense. So uh, we just got to tighten up on a couple of things. Tyler Thompson. So, Kellen, as one of the vet one of the veterans on this team, you know it's easy to look ahead to the SEC tournament, the NCAA tournament. But Ford is a bubble team. You know they still have a chance to make the NCAA tournament, especially if they beat you all. Uh, what are you telling the younger guys on the group to kind of keep them focused heading into Gainesville? Uh, I mean, we all understand that it's not necessarily something that has to come from me. Uh, the coaching staff has um, articulated what you just uh, described. I mean, they're, they're probably a brink bubble team. They may be, they may have a bid right now, uh, or they may not. So a win against a team like us would would probably solidify their spot. Um, but at the end of the day, it's it's our next game. It's a road game. Um, it's a season finale for the whole SEC. So everybody's gonna. Uh, give each team their best shot, and we expect no less, especially since we're coming to town. So uh, I think it it's important to consider, but at, we, we can't get lost in that. We, we have to go and execute our game plan and, and be ready for a challenging road game. Gary Graves. Yeah, um, in, ter in terms of, uh, I guess your impact on on this roster, your influence as one of the senior guys. Uh, what have you um, really tried to do with with some of your new teammates um, when you came in, and how has Oscar kind of helped that process? Um, you know, by by his presence. Uh, the biggest thing for me is I I try to do my best um, in leading by example. Uh, I'm not overly vocal but i definitely have you know in, in huddles in, in the games and as we're leaving timeouts uh i'll try to input my two cents if i think it's um imperative to the game at at the time i'm not um just wasting energy but but the biggest thing for me is uh i think like i've mentioned i think there is a, a respect for me and, and, and an appreciation for my experience in college and I think it's up to me to uh, to do right by that and lead by example. And Oscar is is very similar in, in that fashion. I mean, just his effort and how hard he plays. Uh, it's e it's easy to migrate towards his his energy and his leadership. So uh, I think that's been the biggest thing for for the two of us and, and for most of our team. Gary Tipton. Yeah, Kellen, uh, Coach Cal and some of the players talk about you guys being uh, the Super Bowl game for the other team, which I imagine it'll be tomorrow, too. How diff how challenging is it to play 20-some Super Bowls in a season? Uh, it's, I'd say it's definitely unique to playing at Kentucky. and um, But that, that's, I mean, that's just a part of, of the grind of, playing in the SEC and going on the road. Uh, and 
I think for the most part, we cherish it and, and we're excited about uh, a challenging opportunity every time it, it presents um, itself to us. So, uh, like I said earlier, tomorrow will be no different and, and we'll be ready for it and prepared. How, how much do you think that could help you guys in the NCAA tournament when every game is for everybody? The in the, uh, in the SEC. SEC. So after Saturday, it's you win or you go home. Um, so the stakes are going to be high, regardless of whether Kentucky is the opponent or not. Um, but we definitely understand the there's a little added um, hype and excitement whenever a team plays us and, and they can knock us off. So um, I think the experience of playing in the SEC and what would that be? Was it nine row games, right? Um, nine row games will prepare as well. Chris Thomas? Yeah, hey, Kellen, hope you're doing well. If you look back and in this season, how would this team help you to be a better player and about your shooting ability, how it helped you to be a, the real Kellen Green from your perspective so far and what you see so far in the season? How has this season helped me become a better yes. player? Um, yes. I, I mean, I think for starters, playing in arguably the best conference in the country and, and having some success doing it, I think has uh, helped my my overall game and and um, has definitely helped me uh, become a better player. And, and then playing on a really good team and, and having the pressure of every game being a, a big game, home or away. Um, and, and you know, we, we've had some uh, some really big wins where you know I've been on the court for a lot of it. So I think just the the, the overall experience at being at Kentucky and playing through the season I think has 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 helped me. And the pressure that uh, everybody can, uh, that you have about the games about wins how how did you how how did you deal with that pressure? Uh. I'm not sure there's an exact way uh, th that we that we all deal with it, but I mean, there's a level of getting used to it, and and um, it's all about keeping things in perspective. I think I mean, at the end of the day, those big games are our next game on the schedule, and we approach every game, um, and we try to approach every game with the same level of concentration and and with an end goal in mind, which is to win the game. So. Uh, I think our coaches do a good job channeling outside noise. We always talk about avoiding the clutter and uh, keeping the main thing the main thing, which is playing for Kentucky and, and playing for our fans and, and, and trying to stay focused on that. Larry Vaughn. Yeah, Kellen, just wanted to go, go back and look at, at the senior night game. Looked like you got kind of emotional a time or two early in the game and after the game and all. So just looking back, what was that like for you and your family? So I keep hearing these rumors that I, that I teared up or that I may have shed a few, which did not happen. Um, but I mean, it was definitely an, an exciting night and amazing to be with my, with my parents and, and to play in front of Rupp one last time. Um, so I guess the natural emotions that come with uh, an experience like that and, and, and a senior night, uh, and just seeing the, our home crowd appreciate both Davion um, and me was was special. Uh, but I had to refute the, the rumors of, of me tearing up. Uh, Even though there might be some pictures that would suggest that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like to see them. So if you um, let Deb get a hold of those. <laughs> a few people have asked me that, some of my friends, but... I'm uh I'm denying it.